Brazil. And I said to them, no, because my mum my mom only died a year before. Yeah. And I felt there was a part of me that wanted to experience life without being famous. Yeah. So I was scared to become famous before I lived life because it might ruin who I was meant to be. You would have been a different person. So I've lived my life the way I wanted to. Yeah. Now I'm ready for that, if I wanted that. But yeah. I still don't want that. What I want is reality, but not Big Brother. I'm not into that. What I'm into is Slugit Vision. I like a whole show about vision. But I mean, if, if and I get that, but if like Slugit Vision or what you did become famous because of that, not because you wanted it to, mm. that's different, isn't it? That's like, that is different, yeah. As long like as it was on my terms. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to sell their Coca-Cola and drink their, wear their jeans. No, you're not going to do what they tell you to do. But if it puppets becomes... are just Muppets, and I'm not one of them. No, you're certainly not. I would never allow myself to be that. There's more to life than being yeah. a fucking gimp, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to shine on beyond life. Hmm. My mum's worth more than that. And if I can live her on, if I can make people that never met my mum, know how it feels, how I feel about my mum, then I've achieved something. Yeah. And you know, this is why I learned to play guitar, was because I want people to hear me. This is why I rip poems, I want people to hear me. This is why I make slogging videos, I want to be heard. I'm trying to get people heard that are not even here. Yeah. I want dead people heard. And I do things for things that are not really logical, but they are to me. Hmm. You've got to be different to get off the planet. And yeah. if you actually live your life restricted, you actually you wouldn't even get off your head. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. You don't need drugs. You know, you need imagination. Yeah. Imagination sets you free, and so does love, and so does trust. And if you've got all them free gifts, which are all free, and then life is yours. Yeah, absolutely. My gifts, my secret is just be yourself. And don't let technology brainwash you. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It might look like I'm on Facebook all the time, but I'm never on it. All I ever do on Facebook is like everything, put my videos up and get off it. I yeah. never, ever, ever live my life by it. No, you use it to get your message out, that's different. Exactly. And when I see all the haters, I put something up on one of these websites, and I'll go back to it a day later, and there's a hundred messages. And most of them are all negative, but you know what? I don't actually read them individually. I don't. I just look at the last one and think, ah, is that what you think? Then I put something like Shine On. But I won't let it affect me. Just because yeah. they all hate me, I don't care. Well, they, well, they want they, that. They, they want you to go back with their negativity. Exactly. I don't want yep. to do that. I refuse don't. to fight people. Because... You put yourself above it. I don't want to be them not. people. I don't want to be them people. Yeah. And if you actually respond to one hater, you become a hater. Yeah. So you must learn to ignore everything yeah. apart from yourself. And that is the way to shine on. That is. And I don't know if... Um, you can tell, can't you? It's all real. What I tell you, it's no Everything. fake. Definitely tell. Yeah. I haven't actually planned anything. I've just told you exactly how I feel. That's, I hope it ain't used against yeah. me though, but I don't think it could because I've just changed perspective. But you know, we are, Dave. We, we, we're massive supporters of you. And, um, yeah, like, you're genuine like, guys. I like you. Thank I admire you. Much. But I I'd mean, like to know you more, to be honest. Yeah, and you will do it as time. I'd like you can interview us one time. Yeah, I'd like, no, I don't want to interview you. I, I like you. I don't need to interview you. I know you're good souls. Come come along. We'll, we'll have a drink together. And a it's chat. your persona that I notice in your souls. You're all good guys. Thank you very much. I yeah. like you very much. I respect you and like you. I mean, it's like I'm from, Cla you. I'm from Clacton, but I always think like with you, like I feel like I wish in a way I was from Jaywick to have someone that loved my fucking town. You, like, I'm not from Jaywick, though. I'm from Earth. No, you are, but what I, mean, what I mean by that is that like I live in Clacton, it's, and there's a lot of negative people in Clacton. And Jaywick. I just ignore yeah. them all. But you're just this person that, you know, your your love for the place and the people, yeah. it just come, it shines on and it shines through. And, and I love that about you. I love yeah. that energy, you know. So do I. I love yeah. love. And I yeah. want to spread it all around. And like you were saying earlier, man, you're out there getting raised some money for charity. Yeah, I've done five yeah. hours today. Yeah. I've done five hours early this week. And I've got to do this till July. And I've got to run five you're hours. Out there, you're only out there on Solid Vision, man. Going, you know, going, you know what I mean? You're not, you're not making yourself out to be some sort of hero. I'm not. I'm You're just, just doing it. You're just doing it, man. I do whatever I've got to do every day. I, I do I do many things. I do Joe Bits Got Talent. I pay for the hall myself. I pay the prize money myself. I give up my time. To and give that's, up all, that's all from your building money. It's all, for, it's all from me. Yeah. It's all from me. And I don't get nothing for it. I actually pay, I pay everything myself. And like, and why do I do that? You tell me. Why do I do that? Because I love them. Yeah. And I hope one day, I hope one day, someone can actually pay me to do what I love. But until that day, I will believe in myself and continue to do it. I believe yeah. one day that people will notice my good work, but it seems to me... They have already, man. There's no one's actually doing anything for me apart from watching. I, I'll need someone to actually step in yeah. and go, right, Danny, here's an opportunity. I'd love that. Yeah. And I'd make the most of it. But the point is, I don't do things for that opportunity. I do things because I'm, I'm different. Yeah. And if you're different, you might as well be it. 
There's no point in me hiding away in like some job somewhere and pretending I'm not who I am. No. Because that would beat me up and I'd end up getting a habit of some kind. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's what people trouble with people is they don't do what they feel and that really ruins souls. Yeah. I think if you do what you feel, whatever it is, then that will shine through. I definitely do that myself. I just, you know, I'm like you. You're a hell of a great guitarist, all of you. You're great. Thanks, man. Thank and you. I, I love what you do and I think, I wish I had your skill at your age when I was your age. Mm. But I was restricted through people dying, through like living in Jaywick, through getting banned, for whatever, for whatever. But I never changed what I wanted. Yeah. So you make good money building that, don't you? That's how you pay for the whole. Well, and... basically, I have to work. I have to get up at 8 in the morning and work till 5 at night building. Yeah. I put up fences, I do concreting, I put up sheds, I build houses, I do foundations, I do plumbing, I put radiators up, I paint, I do everything. I'm a master builder. I do every trade there is. The point is, I'm self employed, so I have to go where the work is, you know what I mean? I earn £150 a day when, I, when I'm in that mode, when I'm in London. Mm. When I work around there, I earn £50 a day. Why yeah. do I do it? Because I love them. I can't charge Mrs. Brown more than fifty pounds. She only earns gets eighty pound a week. Exactly. So I do things out of morals and respect. You know, when when it's someone that's got nothing, I will kind of do it for them. Just yeah. pay me my costs, you know. But then when I go to London and I'm working for Woolworths or Tesco or whatever, then I want yeah. the max that I'm worth. Of course, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it changes everything. Not many people yeah. do what you do, you know. It's like, just the way I am, isn't it? Yeah. I mean. um I thought, I've, I've thought about, you know, stop doing socket vision and basically putting everything into my career. But then I've seen many people in life that are just their job. No, and they actually yeah. speak, eat, sleep their job. And actually, when you're with them at, at the weekend, all they talk about is their job. Oh. Fuck me, have you not finished yet? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This is, up, what, man. this is what puts me off careers like. That's the thing about you, like, like I've known you for a while, you never, talk, you never talk about your job, that's just what you do. Like, I'm a builder, isn't it? You don't yeah. talk about your bread and butter, you just do it. Just get on with it. I've know. been building since I was seven or six. My dad's a builder. You're working you're to live, you're not living to My build. dad used to pay me a tenner to push a wheelbarrow into a skip when I was seven and the wheelbarrow was bigger than me. But that tenner, I did it. Even though I used my knees to get the, the thing up. And that made me do anything I wanted to in life. Because my dad is a great dad. I've got one of the best dads on earth. And yeah. my dad always believed in me. And he always basically said to me, you can do anything you want, yeah. anything. But he wouldn't, if he didn't have morals, he wouldn't back you. He wouldn't yeah. allow you, for example, to like do anything disrespectful to anyone. Yeah. No, he's got all. morals, my dad. And morals is a big part of it all. You've got to have peace, love, unity, respect. Yeah. And if you give people them four things, you expect them back. And when you put some of these things up on Facebook and you get all these snide comments, you think, they're not giving me peace, love, unity, respect. So I will not respond. Yeah. Because that is not one of the four elements. Them four yeah. factors make me who I am. Yeah. If I lost any one of them, many people that you don't see in my life would disappear from my life. And then I would not even be me. Not anymore, no. So this is what makes me who I am. The belief that I know what I'm meant to be. Yeah. The, pe the people I've been brought up with, like my dad, the bikers and that, they're not like office workers. No. There's a code that comes with bikers, you know. My dad was an original, original biker back from the 60s. Wow. He ran biker clubs in the 60s. My dad was a bike leader at 25 years old. That's hard. And he had 100 yeah. people in his bike club at 25. That's amazing. Imagine what sort of person my dad is. At 25, Sounds yeah. anarchy, he, he, he was born in Shepherd's Bush, you know what I mean? He, did, he wasn't born in Clapton. He moved to Clapton when he was about 20. And he came down here and created a bike club called The Filthy Few. And they had 100 members. And he ran Clapton from all the 70s, all the 80s. Late 60s, my dad. Must so that's my dad. That's yeah. who I looked up to. So when I like, you know, think about things, I think. Don't you think like in a way like it, I know it's a different thing? But my dad's in the Harley Club now. He's the president. That's the president. But you're like you're kind of like the same. You know, you've got like you, you know you've got your, your your solid vision, and you've kind of got that kind of crowd. I want it. People. I'd love yeah, it. I'd, I'd, the same, you know? I'd love a slugit vision crowd, where we all make vision and we all bounce yeah. off each other. Yeah, because. But we've got to put us all in the same location with the same device. And that is how it's equal. You can't have someone with a flashier phone or a flashier bit of equipment. It's not fair now. Like Everybody's that. got to be equal. Yeah. I don't like anything unequal. Mm. And that is how it's I like... It's very Shea Guevara esque actually. He's my man. He's one of my yeah, idols. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I really admire this man. How he stood up to the system. Well, and if you think of you are him I, and he is you. We are... He. I've always had influence like him. You know? Yeah. Ever since I was young. John Lennon is someone I really admire. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, John Lennon is just one of my... His mum died like nine when he was the same age. Me and John Lennon have got things in common. We both lost our mum at a certain age. And when I read his biographies and that by his wife, Cynthia, and all that stuff, there's loads of things that I'm hearing that are me at the yeah. same time. I think um, 
to like, sorry to interrupt, but there's this whole thing about like John Lennon, yes. uh, Bono, uh, Tom Petty, yes. all these people losing their mums at a young age, it somehow kind of creates this I didn't kind know of, they did, um, then, but... But do you know what I mean? I, I'm not yeah, comparing yeah. you to it, but it's that kind of like... Well, they, they can't you hear it in their music. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're like shining a, on, aren't they? They shine yeah. on because of it. Like the sun, know? the moon and the stars. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we all shine on like the sun, moon and stars. You can see that um, we are natural, song. can't you? Can't you see we're natural? We are. Yeah. Very mad, natural, so yeah. tell me what. So give me an idea of what you're going to do with this, this filming on it. Oh, uh, we're just going to upload it, I think. Um, in one it or in loads of little drips. I'm happy to just, uh, just upload it as it is, but we'll no, probably. I think, we'll... I think I think you should do it like say we do did two hour interview. I think you should give them five minutes a day. Yeah. For like two months until it... keep people waiting and biting. Yeah, part one, you know, part yeah. two, part three. That's I the like thing. It. You'll know better than I do. I'm not really a sort of filming I guy. Think, so I think, I'll take your advice I think more you we'll people, go I think people, if you give people heaven, they don't know, they don't know what heaven is. Yeah, yeah to give them a little taste. Exactly. So yeah. you know, it's how just... to make friends and influence people. Be yourself. <laughs> I can't be no one else. But come on, let's change the subject. I'm, give I'm me some just, more. Just going to go back to. Um, I can talk for the rest uh, of my we, life. I, I saw. Life's too short to talk. I want to play. <laughs> yeah. Give me a football. Come on. <laughs> I'm thinking actually, at the end of the interview, maybe you can play us a song just to close the interview. No problem. But um, I might sat a tune and my strings damaged on the Fine, bottom, buddy. So I, I tried playing the other day, so. That's let all me, good. Let me set it up for that. I'm sounds good. I've just got a couple of questions first, um, just before you. I'll read another poem. Yeah, that sounds good as well. We did a poem and a, and a bit of guitar. Um, so I saw Benefits by the Sea last night, you and did. Um, it's very good. I was just wondering if do you know do you know most of the people on the show? No, you don't. I know Boo, but only. only... Oh, Boo seems like an interesting. The one with the tattoos. Yeah, yeah Boo, yeah. Boo. I've known Boo for about ten years, and we've always like respected each other. Um, so I know Boo. I don't know. Um, any of the other ones, to be honest. Um, um, I think you know Barry, that we, the one who had the psychic night. Oh, Barry and Susie. Yeah, I know them. They're very nice people. Did you enjoy the psychic night? I, I loved it. But what what it, what it was, I spent a lot of time at that psychic night, and all they showed me was standing there for like a minute, second. Like, it makes me I sad. actually didn't see you. It was actually Matt that spotted you. I saw you on yeah. there, yeah. I'm no, thinking, why, uh, on the actual night, they filmed me for like an hour. Why was none of that shown? Yeah, they're, they're, I think they're, they're saving you for episode five. And six, it's apparently. Like, five and six. And I can't wait. And, and we made wait. a Christmas special last year. Which is coming out this Christmas. Oh, excellent. So you've yeah, already made the Christmas special. It's crazy. Yeah. And I was giving out presents to all the homeless people in Clacton and keep doing Christmas lights competitions in Jaywick. Oh, so you've got all that to come. Same the best till last, mate. But with me, I'm not someone that can, you can just follow around. With me, I invent things like the Jaywick's Got Talent, like Dog of the Year show, like uh, the Jaywick's Got Talent. Like like they're all my well, inventions. They're like not it. things that they've been told me to do. They never give you the ideas. You just I gave them the yeah. ideas. And I made them feel me do it. So that makes, to me, more worthwhile. Yeah, I love seeing someone that ain't just getting filmed in their everyday life. Watch mm. me show you something amazing. Yeah, and that is how I like to live. It seemed to kick off a bit on uh, at the psychic psychic night on yeah. Dance by the Sea. A guy called JP was relapsing on okay. his alcohol. Well, that I, I don't really. I mean, I've seen him a couple of times, and I think he's a nice guy. To be honest, he does look a nice guy. He's a nice guy, and I think he, well, I think we've all got our reasons for the way we are. Yeah, and I think when I, the more I look at him, I think I think he's a good man. Yeah, I do think he's he a good man. He does a nice guy. I think he was just quite emotional, wasn't and he? he was quite the, drunk the, and... the problems he's experienced in his life, he's got his reason for being the way he is. And I don't knock him for that. I admired the way he stood up to me or when he feels he has to. And I admire that. I admire the way he says this and he says that. I like that. Yeah. I like anyone that says this is how it is. Yeah. And that's what I like about him. That's uh, what I like about all the people on the programme. They all tell you how it is. You, yeah. You said it You've all good. They're all real on the show. You don't think there's any acting on behalf of any... Uh, well, I, uh, that ain't for me to say. I'm not, I'm not a person that actually talks about other people, really, because unless I can say it to their face, to me, it's a snide. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't ever talk about anyone beyond their back to you, so I've never had. That's one of the rules I talk to you about. The peace, love, unity, you respect thing. Mm. Yeah, the four If I've got something to say about someone, I'd love to say it to their face. Because if you say it behind their back, you become something that I am not. Mm. I've never, ever spoke about anyone beyond their back, apart from yeah. John Lennon, but he don't mind. Or Shea Guevara. But people in the programme... I have respect for them all, and everyone has got to be what they are. Yeah. Yep. And you cannot pretend to be anything else. Hopefully, Barry and JP will make up because they seem very. Of course, they will. Up. That was only a little discussion on the night. That ain't no problem. Barry, it's, it's res Barry respects that he said it, and he respects that he said it. There's mm. no problem. Yeah. The television might have made it look more than what it is, but I was there, and that was all it was. Yeah. There was no problem. Yeah, he just, he just went and he carried on. The night carried on for an hour afterwards. They don't show you that on telly, but in reality, they make it different. Yeah, they exactly. Do. So I was there, and there was no problem. I think this is that's what this is good for to confirm to people the truth. And you know, truth this is, is all completely true. And the truth is, I am part of this program, and everything is sweet. Everyone loves each other, and what the program is doing is highlighting people, highlighting people as they are. 
Mm. And you can't knock the program for that. That's exactly how people are. If people don't like how the people are, then don't watch it. What are the yeah, Channel 5 crew like? What are they like as people? The people They're great like? people. They're like really good friends. You become friends with them. When you film with someone for like four or five months, you become friends. You ask how their family are. You ask where their next job is. You ask where they've worked. They tell you who they've worked with. It's great. When you're actually sitting there one day and you're getting filmed and you say to the, the cameraman, oh, so what have you done before? Oh, I've filmed this person. I've done this. I've done this reality series. I've been in India. I've been on volcanoes. Yeah. I'm like, wow, I'm inspired. I'm working with someone that's worked with celebrities and famous people. It makes me feel great. I'm yeah. sure you inspire them as well. It's like a exactly. good mutual Exactly. I'm sure I do. Connection. And they definitely inspire me. And this is what everyone needs in life. They need to be in inspired and inspirate. Have you had anyone famous or any celebrities yes, reach I've out to you? I've met, I've met um, do you know Queen, the guitarist, Brian May? Yeah, yeah. Brian, yeah. yeah. I was in Ipswich once, getting out of my car, and him and his wife, Anita Dobson, were going to the Panto, which she was playing in. And I noticed him, so I ran up to him. I went, Brian, how are you doing? I said, can I have your autograph? So I got my wallet like this, and, and, he, and, I, gave, and I got a note out, yeah? I said, Brian, can you sign this for me? And, and, he, and he took the note, and he went, yeah. He went, I, I need something to lean on, so I gave him my wallet. So this is Brian May now, he's holding <laughs> his wallet, and he's signing the note. Then he gives me the note back, but then he's kept hold of the wallet. Then me and him are talking for about a minute, two minutes, we're chatting. Dun -dun 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 -dun, we love you, we admire you, dun -dun -dun, Freddie Mercury, shine on. Then all of a sudden, he was going to go. And I said, um, excuse me, um, <laughs> could I have my wallet back? And he went, oh, yeah. So he passed me my wallet back. But I said, no, actually, keep it. And can I have your wallet? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. But he was all right with me. He loved me. And I didn't film it or nothing. There was no, no sloggy visions in them no days. Vision, yeah. Anyway, we had a good chat for a good five minutes. I met his wife. I met him. It was fun. I bet one day he'll see me on that program and remember me. Yeah. I've also met Bob Geldof. Um, I was at one of his gigs, and afterwards I'm going to meet him. And basically, at the end of the show, you could queue up and ask him questions. So I queued up, got him to start sign something for me, and I said, Bob, I write poems, and I play guitar, and I'd like to be like you. Can you got any advice? And I just tied me a blue. He went, dye your hair. <laughs> and everyone in the room just laughed. And, Brilliant. Yeah. So we had another good chat, and yeah. Me and, me and famous people, we don't... We kind of laugh and have fun with each other straight away. Because I've got that persona and they can do that. And oh, natural. It's yeah. not like we're like, yes, so the year is 1992, we must walk like this. Yeah. None of that. It's kind of like, it's dance around there. It's free flow. Yeah. And if you've got this sort of persona, you've got to use it. There's no point keeping it captive because celebrities can tell more than anyone who people are. They yeah. can tell someone. They're around it more like the real people. Celebrities have that eye. That's why they're different. Because they're obviously, they're different themselves. Yeah, yeah. And I am pretty different myself as well. I suppose in a way, I am pretty similar to them. The point is, I don't want to be them. I just want to be myself. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want to be in no programme pretending to be someone that I'm not. Yeah. Your fame through Slogan Vision might take off in ways you, you can never imagine well, as well. I, I, I had a dream. I had a dream, you see. My dream was, was to have my own programme where Slogan Vision was the show. But obviously, through my, my basically, I will, I will stop doing Slogan Vision for Facebook and YouTube when... I'll get offered. I would personally sh prefer to watch TV with a channel dedicated to television. I've been telling you shit most I of it. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. Think, I'd love to see me on telly because I'm happy and I'm bouncing. And yeah, yeah you, your posts, do the, do, they did a job. They make me feel happy. Exactly. I and if I can do that for well. you, I can do that for the world. Yeah. But I might need a different concept where I've got a bit of professional help. But with professionality, I would only improve, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd keep it real. I would never ever like, you know, dress up in ladies' dresses and shit and try and make people laugh because that ain't who I am. No. But I can make people laugh by just talking about it, probably. Yeah. And that is the gift I've got. I don't need to actually, you know, sell my soul. Mm. So you don't have to sell out. I don't yeah. need to sell anything, to be honest. I'll just be myself. And that is what people you, like. People you admire to... genuine. Have you had any celebrities reach out to you purely because of Target Vision? Have you had any say, oh, well Not done? Not yet, but I'm about... sure, I'm sure that it's people have watched it because I've had um, people tell me that certain things, I can't really release anything at the minute, but sure. I've, had, I've had someone say to me that certain people are watching me and they're very interested in me. I had wow. Jonathan Ross for one, mm -hmm. and they he's contacting me. They're Jonathan Ross. They're Jonathan Ross, yes. Yeah. And he wants me to do things. He, he's, he was setting up a project called Ross's Rebels or something, okay. which is an internet show for people that vlog and shit. And, he's not and he, he, he actually approached you as well. Yeah, but I said to him, I'm not interested, um, you, you can work for me. <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> not like that in a bad way, but I just felt that I don't want to be... Um, you don't, don't want to be like pigeonholed almost. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want to be working for you, mate. 
No yeah. disrespect. That, that, was, that was actually very... I'll go on your show and you can interview me, but I don't want to be... It's bad, admirable of you to be able to I don't want to be a gimp or a... You know, I'm not one of them Someone's people. puppet, they think. Slogging vision is not about doing what I'm told. Yeah. I go where I'm not allowed to go. Yeah. And that's what people like about Slogging vision, because I just go there. I, lo- I, love, I love the action ones, like when there's storms and you're like... Go to Kurt Cobain Bridge or something, and it's just it feels a bit edgy, you know. It's like on the scene. Yeah, I love that when there's something uh, something happens and you're straight there. It's my favorite. It's my favorite form of news, rather than Channel Five um, news or ITV news or BBC news. I'd much much rather see something on the scene news. I love to I, be at news situations, but like not, I would not, well, to, not yeah. where people die and stuff because a lot of, a lot of the victims might be affected. But I, I would like to film positive things so the world can see what happened at that time. Yeah. Look, man, it's affected us. Look, the trees fell over. And stuff like that. I want to show people how it is. Not like... Not just read it out like a, oh, that a tree has fallen down today. Yeah. Like, you actually read it out and like, you know, you're, you're, there's emotion in it. Like, wanna, the tree has fallen down. I want to just miss it It's amazing. Stuff. But this is what I like. I like to be out there, you know? Yeah, I, lo- I love your current stuff. I like when something happens when you're there on the scene. I yeah, I like it too. But there's not a lot going on in this area, so that's the trouble. Yeah, exactly. It it's really hard to actually show, you know, I don't want to show people self-pity. I want to show positive, happy... I like natural events, you know? Exactly. And, um... I'm putting a happy spin on them. Yeah, I don't like just to go to a concert and film the act. We can get a DVD of that. I'm better than that. I'd like to actually be wandering around and, like, you know, showing behind the scenes of it. Yeah. This is what I, I want. I want a, an access all areas ticket. I want to show you how the band prepares. I want to show you, you know, some behind the scenes stuff. The stuff you don't see. See, I was, like, about, about eight years ago, I, I was going to get a job at the Royal uh, Opera House. I was going to be a stage person. Wow. And I would have definitely, with Slogit Vision, what I do, and that job, that would have been pretty cool. Yeah. But obviously, you, you've got a lot of it that's going to be kept secret. But the point is, I live too far on that, and I had to have moved there. I'm glad the way I've done it, but I'm still, I'm thinking now, I'm, I, I need to go into something like that. To take it to you the next level. I think you need another step. I'm getting yeah. bored of, like, daily life, you know? Yeah. I yeah. can only do with so your, much. With your driving determination, it's bound to happen, to be honest. Like, I've never, I don't think I've ever met anyone as determined as you. I, I, want, more from, I want more from my life. And I like Slogan Vision. I like making people happy. And I like, I get a lot of messages on the inbox from people. I mean, let me give you an example. There was a woman who lived in America and she was ill, terminally ill. And she oh. was on a diet about two years. And she said to me that she's always wanted to visit England, but she could never afford it. And she's now in bed and she's got me as a friend and she watches my Slogan Vision every day. And, I, and she actually feels like she's been to England through me. That's amazing. And she gave me this. So com- touching, yeah. She gave me this compliment that made me feel like, yeah, that's why I do it. Yeah. Just for that one person who I've made happy in America, who I might never meet, mm. for making her happy makes me above all the haters. That's what I think about the haters. Yeah. I want the lovers and I want to project them. And the fact that she said that like, you basically showed her England, like yes. that you've been comprehensively shown all these different parts of the country, which you do. Yep. And she's actually got that, oh, it's like, she's there almost. That's know? positivity, the roads, see? The yeah. street if you're positive, the then it's, it's obviously, it might not be what everyone would like, but because it's positive, they've yeah. got to accept that it was, the intention was good. Yeah, of course. And you man. can't knock something that was good. You can only knock something when it was self pity or bloody vengeance. Yeah. I'm never into that. That's when when I'm having a bad day, I don't film. Yeah. Because I don't want to ruin my lifetime's work. I mean, there's times, you know, when I get angry and I play records and, you know, yeah. and I say things, you know. And but then I mean, you're human. That's the thing. Yeah, but I've got to, like, you've got to, like, rise above it. Mm. As I said to you, with the haters, you've got to rise above it and just ignore it. I mean, I do feel like other humans. I do get angry and shit, but I don't want everyone to see that. Yeah. So I, I keep it to myself and I release it. I go down the gym for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, or I go to work. Yeah. Work's helped help me because you know. Of course, yeah. I, I, I get my, a lot of my work's improvised. You know what I mean? You just go there. It ain't just straight simple work. You start, you go there to do something. And you've got to do something else and build a wall or something. You know? Little problems come up. I suppose he's got to get around to it. But there's never pr- problems. There's only solutions. That's right. It's, it's, uh, someone says once before. Someone said something before. They said, it's, "Yeah, it's not. It's not a problem. It's no. an opportunity to shine." Yeah. I love Tell you that. what, Jonathan yeah. Ross is going to have his job cut out with you three guys on a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't reckon he can interview me as good as you three, do you? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, Jonathan yeah. Ross, we're coming for you. Oi, John, watch out. <laughs> You've got three of them here. <laughs> uh, you're a good crew, and I'll tell you what, I wouldn't just talk to anybody because it's personal. Appreciate Thank it. What right have you got to know about me? It's a good question. As long as you use it, Positive, then I'm happy. Of course, yeah, man. you can but be completely about part of the process. Personal. I will use it positively, but there's always haters out there. But what we're going to do is what you said, you know, it's going to ignore it, shine on. We I don't want anyone that hates me, right? 
I just want, I just want them blocked and deleted. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't care yeah. about them. Yeah. Right, gone. So I don't even need to hear about what Mrs. Jones is saying about Mr. Jones. No, I don't no. care. Go I on. don't care. I care about you know things, but not that. Yeah. So you got to learn to do what I do and totally blank it. Just yeah. delete it, get rid of it, gone. That's and it. they've lost out now. Don't respond to them because then they've won. No, I won't. As soon as you respond to one of these people, they get stronger. Mm. If you want to like make make them beat the show on what they are, you must get rid of them. Yeah, he's right. You don't ever ever encourage shit. No. You only encourage sloggit vision. Positive. And real good positive ideas, not shit. We don't want shit. I'm with you. I'm with you. I wouldn't let, you know, I wouldn't live my life this long for that. So have we got anything else to kick into? Um, Final question for me is, do you have any filming inspirations in terms of sloggit vision? Is there anyone out there that sort of, is there anyone else doing something similar to sloggit vision that you watch and think, oh, that's that's good. I'm going to maybe try and incorporate that into my ideas. Or is it just pure you and you just do what you feel? I've noticed, I've noticed over the last year, that I think Slogan Vision might have influenced quite a few people in my world because I've noticed more so. videos going up, which I never noticed before, and people are getting more braver now. So I, I'm, in, I'm impressed by that because I'm now seeing, I don't like seeing um, people performing for people, right? I don't, I, don't, I don't want performance. I want people doing natural things, shine on. I don't want to do, right, today I'm going to do a trick for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not into that. But when people are doing things naturally and it's getting filmed, then I like that. Yeah. So I'm natural, I'm free flow. This oh. is what Sloggit Vision is. I won't ever do a trick for you. Yeah. But some people do that and I don't agree with that. But the people that are uh, free flowing, then I admire them. Yeah. And I've noticed more of that and that's what I'm inspired by. I mean, inspired... when you get these stupid girls from another country sitting there going, We're going out tonight. Look at me at my big breast. I'm like, <laughs> can't. <laughs> Not interested. You're wind up. No wonder your husband's gone mad. <laughs> You're trying to make me mad. I don't want to see the woman getting dressed or putting her makeup on. No. It's not real, is it? That is to me is not vision. That to me is look at me, dun dun dun. Will you be my husband? I'm not interested in that. This is just like, can you buy me? You know, can yeah. you afford me? That's okay. That's sort of vision. Yeah, sure. Like, you know, I'd just go to a, like a porn site if yeah. I wanted that. Yeah, but but, yeah. You're, but the thing about sort of vision, you're not. You're not the star. Well, you are, it's your show, but yeah. the, it's always a subject on something. Always. You're, you're narrating, story. you know, you're talking about a, a, a building. Or Two nights ago, there's a bridge going towards Wheelie. Uh, not Wheelie, going towards Oldsford. There's a bridge up there. What, the Kirk Cobain Bridge? No, that's, that's another one. That's on the back roads. But I've gone to this other bridge, and I've just stopped the car about 100 yards up, and I've walked towards the bridge. And you get the old headlight coming to me, and I called it... Uh, not, I, I, I had the song called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, because I called it Somewhere Over a Bridge. Mm -hmm. About three days ago, I read it. And it's just me talking for about five minutes in the dark about the programme the next day, the cars passing me, where we are, looking at the railway track. Yeah. That right. to me is sloggy vision because I'm making something out of total nothing. Yeah. Now, everyone else just drives past that bridge. No one ever stops to think about, but me, I wanted a memory there. You've given that bridge. So I've, I've now gave that bridge a memory and it's yeah. now called Somewhere Over the Rainbow Bridge. Love it. It's now got its name, name from the idea that gave me the idea of making the video. So everywhere I go, I kind of name and create and all that. It's all like, you know, good for my soul. Yeah, building your own memories and your own world. And if other people can like, log on to that and I can make one other person see that, then I think I'm doing all right. And I don't do it for like publicity, I do it for love. Yeah. And that love will shine on and keep me going for the rest of my life. And it'll keep everyone I know going. I just want everyone to be bloody happy. And I want everyone to be positive. And I want everyone to shine on, man. What, that ain't, that ain't yeah, a lot great message. Want. Beautiful, yeah. I don't shine want on. nothing else. Yeah. I don't want nothing else. I just want to ignore all the hate and love all the love. It's a very simple world when you make it simple. And that, do you, does that answer that? Shine on. So he does. Yeah. Shine on. Yes. Well so, done, do you want to read a final poem or play you, a song? You want to ask me a final question? You go for it. Go on. No, I'm, I'm fine. That, that, well, I was, that's, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I think nothing good. curious. Nothing. No little secret remedies. There's definitely be stuff that comes yeah, up. Yeah, we're I definitely going to go back and work on. Well, there'll definitely, definitely be more questions. I think next time like, you come, yeah. bring a list so it's all like, yeah. so we can yeah. do it. Absolutely. Just to, get a taste to be honest, we some of the questions I asked you were from a list, but all then, right. some, then um, you kind of almost answer some of the questions before I asked them, and it just, yeah. I ended up going in a different way. By natural a, way. Yeah, yeah, it ended up very natural. How long have we been doing this for? Oh, we got here. About an hour and a half, yeah. Yeah, about an hour and a half. See, that's pretty good, isn't it? That is very good. We can play the game of football. Next time, next time. Do you want to read a poem or play a bit of guitar? Do you want me to read a poem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love a bit of guitar afterwards if you want to. I'm That's not playing guitar because my string's broke. No worries. I'm not playing an out of tune guitar. No um, worries. <laughs> here we go, I'll read you one I'll read this year. Called Won't Give Up On Myself. 
Shall and happiness. I'd like to see. stand up when I'm reading because. So if you want to stand up with me. Yeah, let's all stand up. So, yep. Feel it. Because like, when I read, I read, I like to move, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. That's how I read. So here we go. Assistant. It's called I Won't Give Up on Myself. It was written at 1 a.m. My Shine, January the 2nd, 2016. Brilliant. I won't give up on myself. In England, I awake. I feel great. Let's slip in that warm sea. Let's see how we will be. God protects us, I know. I face England to be who I want to be. At last, I'm a man. I feel like life is fast. I am still the same as far as I can go. We slide together to our souls. Feel real, we know. To put our fingers in our ears, to give the dream of life in how we all feel. Real is a dream, the dream is real. Future past different is as much how we all feel. Very hard to be self above anything else. Being so brainwashed, here we, here we from the start, by the way, it's okay to say what you feel. Make thought feelings happen. Bright light, we are to be what we truly are. I can't, I don't want to. Why should I? By the way, there is no way I will stop how I feel. So real to feel love, shine above. Won't give up on myself. I am my shine. I won't give up on myself. Beautiful. But obviously, I can edit it slightly, so I wouldn't stutter. But no, if, if I love that. It played really well. I love that. Yeah. Really about it. But I've written about three thousand like this, and I, and I do believe I should write a book called Real Life Dreams. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to read it. I can't wait for someone to help me write it. <laughs> if you know anyone that'll help me. Bonus question. I just I saw your post on Mermaids. Yes. Do you believe in mermaids? Have you ever seen a mermaid? Um, I don't believe in mermaids, but as they said, 90% of the sea has not been explored. So who's to say there's not mermaids? It's very true. I mean, I've got things hiding in my house, let alone in the sea. <laughs> I don't believe in anything apart from what I feel. I don't, I'm not like, you know, stupid and think about mermaids and stupid things, but, but if you think it's there, there could be something. It's like the Loch Ness Monster. Do I believe in that? No, not really, but there could be something. It's very true. But whatever it is, I hope they're happy. Yeah. And I hope they shine on. Shine on. Thank you so much for your time, Danny.